Hi, I recently did a video on the McSig Differential Probe, the DP10013, and this is an excellent low cost differential probe for your oscilloscope. So it comes in somewhere between 110 and 140 pound delivered, depending on where you buy it from. I'll put the link down below to the Banggood listing for this one, which is where I got it from, and it arrived very quickly and absolutely no problems. Uh, but I've been using this for my lighting project, which is still ongoing. Um, but the one complaint that I did have is that the two ranges are sort of neither here nor there really. So we've got the times 50 range, which is the equivalent of 130 volts peak to peak, and the times 500, which is 1.3 kilovolts. And when you're probing your AC waveform, so for example in the UK where it's 230 volts, the peak to peak voltage is actually 340 volts. So you can't use the times 50 range and you're not using the full dynamic range of the times 500 range. Um, so you're much more likely to get sort of noise contributions uh, from not using the full dynamic range. So the manufacturer, McSig, very kindly sent through the higher voltage model. This is the DP20003, and this has times 200 and times 2000 ranges, which equate to 560 volts and 5600 volts. So the 560 volt is pretty much perfect uh, for your AC waveform measurements. So let's have a look on the bench. Right, so a quick look at the specs first, but you can see that they're essentially the same model. In fact, basically what it looks like is just that it has a different uh, resistor ladder into the differential amplifiers that we looked at in the video last time. Uh, most of the other specs are the same. The input referred noise is basically going to be uh, the noise contribution added by these resistors. And you can just see we've got the two different ranges here. So 50 and 500 on the low voltage model and 200 and 2000 on the higher voltage model. But all of the other specifications are the same, so the same power consumption, same size, um, and you know the same operating conditions and humidity and that kind of thing. Right, so here they are side by side, and you can see that they're very similar units indeed. Um, so this is also a very slightly newer model, so it's been shipped with the new accessories, uh, which are clearly more expensive. So, for example, the Flexi Clip um, is made of a really flexible silicone material, very, very nice indeed. You know, uh, and it's got this nice metallic um, probe tip at the end here. But these must add quite a lot to the bill of materials cost. If you compare it to the old ones, which are clearly PVC, um, you know, it's nowhere near as flexible and a little bit more flimsy overall. The alligator clips are also uh, significantly higher quality. Uh, you can see here, and they've got quite a lot of spring tension behind it, so they're not going to um, sort of fall off your uh, device that you're probing. And again, on the actual uh, probes. There's also a marked difference in the quality of the two accessories, uh, and these are very nice to hold. They're very similar to the ones that you get with Fluke and Agilent meters. Uh, certainly looks very similar, and it's got the same kind of feel to it. And then here are the two devices together. You can see there's just a very slight difference to the colour of the adhesive front sticker, uh, but everything else is basically the same. So we've got the same uh, USB port to power it at the bottom, We've got a USB power out if you did need to use power for something else. Nothing on the back. Um, and then we've just got our leads for testing on the top and our actual BNC cables at the bottom. So essentially the same device. I'll see if I can get the cover off this one. It was a little bit difficult to get it off this one. I needed to provide a bit of heat uh, because unfortunately the screws are under the sticker. So uh, I'll have a go and see if I can open this up. All right, so I've managed to get the case open and you can see sort of from this point onwards it's the same device but we first of all we've got these covers here protecting uh, the terminals coming in uh, from here so presumably to provide the isolation required if you're probing up to five and a half thousand volts we've got a couple of extra trimmer capacitors compared to last time and i'll just see if i can lift these out of the way and yeah, so it's fairly similar to before. We've got a slightly different resistor ladder on each side with a different capacitor network and compensation network here. Uh, but generally, it's just this area here which is slightly different. So um, the initial op amp and uh, all of the signal processing is all the same. It's just a different front end to handle the additional high voltage. So I'm not going to do any testing in this video because the other probe was absolutely fine and I had no issues with it whatsoever. And besides, um, when I continue the lighting project, we're going to be using this differential probe quite a lot. Um, so we'll give it a little test at that point. I did have some comments in previous videos about the differential probe perhaps not being as good uh, as I made out. It was because of the 
flat top that we were seeing on the sinusoidal AC waveform. Uh, but that is actually a true representation of the distortion uh, that is occurring on the AC waveform as a result of all the switch mode power supplies that we use in our domestic environment. So the bridge rectifier followed by the large capacitors which you have if you don't have active power factor correction means that the capacitors only sort of top up their charge on that very centre part of the AC waveform. So um, with everyone having these type of devices it just flattens the top because the voltage never rises uh, to its absolute peak. But uh, anyway, what we'll do is I'll leave the listing to the AliExpress listing for the manufacturer of this differential probe. I'll also put the Banggood listing for the lower voltage model if you're interested in buying it from there. Uh, but hopefully you found this video useful. I'm not sure there's uh, any other videos of this particular differential probe, but it does seem very good value. The higher voltage model is more expensive, but those accessories are clearly a lot more expensive than the cheaper ones that they were shipping it with before. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, thanks for watching.